What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna get started on the sound system for this Toyota Hilux. So I haven't got everything we needed. I do have a little bit, but I think we can get started with what we have, kind of get a jump on it, get an idea of what we're gonna be doing. So I got a set of components on the way and an amp on the way. Got some really cool stuff we're gonna throw into this thing. So basically, I'll flip the camera and I'll show you what we're doing. So I've already got started without you guys. What I got here, I bought these. These are six and a half inch uh, speaker rings, basically to space it out a little bit. And we got this thing mapped out. So this is kind of the pod that we're gonna be building. This is gonna mount right in front of the door right here. And you can see the speaker is going to kind of go into the door panel, which I'm not that worried about. I think it'll actually look pretty good. I'm really just hoping that we don't have to cut holes or trim out this door card here for the speaker. We will have to cut holes in the actual door down here for the speakers to go through. But basically what we got, I got some quarter inch MDF right here that I'm gonna make this plate out of. Now I am gonna have to raise it up a little bit here kind of come around the top like that for the speaker just to make sure everything is good with that so let's cut this out now you can see we do have another speaker here so what i got on the way i haven't got them yet but what we've got on the way is a three-way component set so it comes with a six and a half a three inch and a tweeter what we're going to do with the tweeter is mount it you want your tweeters mounted up higher so you can either mount it on a pillar somewhere this pillar not really anywhere to mount it so we're going to put it kind of right up in the corner up on the door panel there. I think that'll be a really, really good spot for it. So let's grab the MDF, get this thing cut out, and hopefully we get this other speaker ring in. If we don't, I might just have to make one. The only thing that sucks, I don't have any MDF around, so I might have to go get some. But either way, let's get started cutting this thing out, get this bottom plate built.
All right guys, this is how far we made it today. So if you are curious what I did on this back here, this is an eighth inch, I think it's called hardboard, but I wanted to put that on the bottom because this section here, this upper section, is where the actual door card is right here. So basically the front of that right there you can see is where the door card is and that door card actually stuck out a little bit from the door so in order to get this pull pod mount to sit flat i had to raise up the bottom so we are good to go there hopefully all this fits with the speakers so the speaker should be here tomorrow we can do our test fit and everything but i'm gonna get working on these things so that's where we're at now we'll let this glue dry up i gotta trim this one a little bit so what we're actually gonna do is take this is uh some fleece material i got this on amazon i'll link this if you guys are curious or if you want to check it out but what we're basically gonna do is drape this over get our shape we want we're gonna staple it or glue it down somehow and then we're gonna put fiberglass resin over this just to get this nice and stiff and solid where we want it and then we'll go over that with some fiberglass so that's a game plan it sounds a little weird putting uh, fiberglass resin on this fleece but I've seen people do it and it seems to work it looks like it works pretty good so I figured I'm gonna try it out using this fleece you can really I mean you could shape it however you want you could bring that all the way down there or you could have it flat and just pulled straight across there what I think I'm gonna do this whole top's gonna be kind of flat and then pulled down to around the edges. I think that'll look really good. Look at what showed up guys. We have a complete sound system from CT Sounds. So what we have here, this is a four channel, I think it's a 480 watt amp. And then we have the whole, they sent the whole wiring kit with RCAs, everything, fuses. Now, like I said, this is a three way speaker system. So we have a six and a half inch woofer here. We have three inch tweeters or a three inch mid range, I think they call it. And then a tweeter. So like I said, these tweeters, I think I'm gonna mount right up in the door here somewhere right about there super easy to mount these the whole speaker is threaded and it's just got a big nut right here you can see so gonna be super easy to mount those and like always they obviously send over the crossovers a bunch of speaker wiring everything we need to put the system in now today's video is sponsored by ct sounds they were nice enough to send all this stuff over for me to throw in the truck so i am very very excited i've never done an amped speaker system. I've always done like the coaxial, the cheap speakers. They sound okay, but I got my expectations high for these. I know these are going to sound really good. I've heard a lot of really good things about CT sounds. We're about to find out just how good they are. So honestly, right now I'm a little bit stressed out just because we have the pods built. We have the fleece on with the resin on it all hardened up and we haven't test fit the speakers because I just got these in. So I'm a little bit stressed out. What we gotta do is cut the centers out of the pods so that we can fit these speakers in. Now there is all their measurements on their website. So I did check all that out. I did measure it all according to that. 
So if their measurements on their site are correct, we shouldn't have any issues at all. They should bolt right in. Also, if you guys want to check out any of these products, I'll have links down in the description box. You can check them out at ctsounds.com or they actually have an Amazon store. No, a lot of you guys like shopping on Amazon. So much easier, just one click, bam, you got it, it's done. So I'll have all the links for this and I'll have a link to their actual website where you can find all the info on the stuff, see everything they offer. They have a ton of car audio stuff. So go check them out, ctsounds.com or Amazon, link down in the description. All right guys, let's talk about polyester resins for a second. So going into this, I knew nothing about polyester resins. I bought just a laminating resin and it doesn't have wax in it. So they have a laminating resin and a finishing resin. The finishing resin has a wax built into the resin, which basically creates a film over the top of the resin as it cures. Polyester does not cure when it's exposed to oxygen. So that is why there's the wax. The good thing about laminating resin is it stays tacky so you don't have to sand between each coat of fiberglass. That is what I did. I did two coats of fiberglass without sanding, but we needed a way to block the oxygen from the polyester resin during its cure. So that's why I did the saran wrap over the top of it. There is a couple other solutions to this. Now you can buy the wax additive that you can add into the last coat of the resin on your last coat it'll create that film and it'll help that cure you could also spray it down with pva that's the release agent you use on like your molds and stuff but the problem with that is you have to wash it off with water and i don't want to wash these off when i'm done just because it's all with the mdf framed and that stuff will soak up water and kind of turn into a sponge so i didn't want to do that so the saran wrap was my only option really. Now, I was hoping it would turn out a little bit smoother. It is a little bit rough, but we should be able to sand most of that out just because it is all in the resin. The fiberglass mat isn't the ridges, it's just the resin from all the little creases in the saran wrap. So we should be able to sand all that out, but either way, let's get this all cut out, get all the edges trimmed, get this sanded out, see how smooth we can get it. If it's smooth enough, we shouldn't have to do any body fillers. If there's any really bad spots, we might have to fill some of it with some body filler, kind of get that smoothed out and make it look a little better that way.
All right guys, moment of truth. We got everything mounted up kind of temporarily in place. I got a battery in here. We got it powered up. We got it grounded. I got my fuse right under there. So if all goes well, we should be able to turn this key on and we should have some power to the head unit and possibly the amp. There we go. Head unit is fired up. Now I don't see any lights on on the amp but let's throw something at it let's throw a little bit of music at it and see what it does all right first let's get my phone connected make sure that is gonna work there we go got a code pair all right there we go phone is connected let's get some music going see if anything happens well guys like i said the amp isn't on it's not turning on i went through and checked everything uh but i found the issue so it's all just right in here you go settings sound amplifier turn on you got to turn it on right there and you can see we got a light on and we got sound coming out all right guys i got some music i'm gonna go through and tune it a little bit i turned up the gains on the amp and i just kind of roughly set the amp up we're gonna go through and kind of set up the head unit first and then we'll move and dial in the amp so i just got some copyright free music don't hate too much on it i know it's not the greatest stuff but here we go, let's see what it sounds like. So that's just on user, we'll go standard. We'll turn it up a little bit. See, that's all the way up. We'll probably have to turn the gains up on the amp just to get it a little bit louder, but. I just turn it to pop. That doesn't sound too bad. I had it on rock and that was way too much bass, but we can always adjust everything. The dial this thing in. We got sound field, obviously, time correction, which I've, I've never really messed with that kind of stuff. Um, sound enhancement, bass boost, and then we got all those crossover settings too. I'm not probably gonna mess with that just because we got crossover settings on the amp, but there's a lot of tuning, a lot of adjustments we got to do. You guys know I'm fairly new to this audio stuff, so I'm going to do my research. They say to kind of set your head unit first, like I said, and then go on your amp, dial in the gain and everything on your amp last. <laughs> guys I did a little research on kind of the equalizer so they say you kind of want it in a slope like a smiley face so I actually have two different pages you can see so it is kind of sloped like a smiley face up oh. right there so we got that set up also what I'm doing to kind of set the gains on the amp I got a 40 Hertz test tone right here I got the sound at we want, they say you want to go about 75%, 80%, something like that. Play this test tone with the volume at 80% and then turn the gains up on the amp until you can hear the speaker start clipping or distorting. And you'll hear bass and you, the bass will get louder and louder and louder until it starts to kind of distort and sound really weird. The thing about this one is I turned the amp all the way up, the gains all the way up, and I didn't get any distortion. I'll show you guys real quick. I'll get under here and turn the gains all the way up. So you can see, even right there, it doesn't sound distorted at all. 
So you can see, even with the gains all the way up, it doesn't sound really distorted. So I did turn them down a little bit just to be safe. Let's get another sound going here. Like I said, I have adjusted some things since you guys heard it last. So it's definitely sounds a lot better now. Well guys, I gotta say, after a little bit of tuning, these freaking speakers are so loud. They're so crisp, they're so clean, and they go insanely loud. Like I said, I can crank the gains up all the way. I could probably go higher than 80% on my volume on the head unit, and I don't get any distortion. Unless it's like a really like a rap song with a lot of bass in it, it'll distort so you can't crank it up that high. Now, with the equalizer, you can kind of mellow out the low end. Also, I have it on high pass filter right now on the amp, and you can adjust how much frequencies, basically you can adjust what it cuts out at. So the higher you turn that high pass filter knob, you turn it up, it will basically cut out lower frequencies. So if you have a rap song with a lot of bass, a lot of really low notes, it'll kind of cut those out so it won't distort. So kind of getting the hang of this. There's a few other things you can do, like the sound field. You can basically measure from your, your ears to the speakers and and delay the speakers that are closest to you so that the sound hits you all at the same time. There's a lot that goes into this tuning. I'm not gonna go that deep into it. Right now I think I got it set pretty good. It's really freaking loud, sounds really good, and it doesn't distort, so I'm happy with it. I gotta say having this system, comparing it to even the system I put in my green Tacoma, I did all coax, but they're like, the expen they're pretty expensive Rockford Fosgates, but they're not amped and they're a coaxial speaker, but this thing, freaking blows it out of the water. It is so much louder, so much more crisp and clean. Well guys, like I said, I am absolutely impressed with how these speakers sound. Even with my minimal experience with tuning and setting everything up, I got it sounding super good, it's super clean, super crisp, and there's no distortion, like I said. So I am very, very happy with that. Like always, if you guys wanna check out any of this stuff I used, go down in the description box. I got links for everything. I also have a link for that head unit as well. You can find that on Amazon. So far, I haven't had any issues with that head unit. It's been working amazing, obviously truck's still sitting in the shop, so we haven't used it a whole lot, but just doing all of my testing and everything with the sound system, it's working really good. There's a lot of features on it, there's a lot of tunability on it, and it's a really good price unit. If you guys wanna check it out, go down in the description box, you can find a link for it. Well, I'm gonna wrap this one up here, guys. I don't wanna completely finish and bolt everything on these doors back together yet, just because I gotta tear them back apart. We got a regulator, a window regulator we gotta replace, and a few other little things. So I'm gonna leave it as is for now, and then once we get that window regulator in, we can throw that in and button up all the doors, get the panels completely bolted in. Well, that's a wrap for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it kept you entertained. Hopefully you learned something. If you had as much fun as I did, go hit that subscribe button. Go drop a comment, a like. Let me know what you think. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.